Bonjour, bienvenue au centre de compétences Guerneland Pulvérisation Distributeur d'engrais. Venez avec moi, Dirkan nous attend pour parler pulvérisation. Hello Dirkan, thanks for welcoming us in Uvenep. Uh, we are here at the Spreader and Sprayer Factory. Uh, can you please introduce yourself and tell a bit our viewers uh, what are your tasks in the group? Of course, I'm uh, Dirkan Stapel. Uh, I'm responsible for the sales and marketing team for in the uh, arable factories. Uh, which is meaning so much is that we are the communication between our sales organizations in the countries um, and the factories, we are organizing that. Um, the factories are the arable factories, so they are based in France, Norway, um, Germany and here in uh, New Venep in the Netherlands, uh, where we are building sprayers and spreaders. Um, and uh, I'm in charge of the sales and marketing team for those four factories. As a, as a crop care factory, you develop build and assemble sprayers for all around the world that are meant to be sold. What are the main challenges you face to make one machine, let's say, suit worldwide farmers? In the sprayers, we have a platform thinking, which is uh, so much saying is that we have one basic platform of electronics and spraying equipment. And there we build up on all the different models. So we have the T3, the T4, the T6. Uh, but even in our mounted spray range, the Xters, uh, we are using the same components platforms uh, so that everything is scalable. Uh, not only from a size perspective, but also from a technology pers per perspective. So on a very simple sprayer, we are using the same platform, uh, electronics platform as on a very high advanced spray, which makes it, which makes it very easy to adapt to local needs uh, and local needs. Um, are basically everywhere the same. In the markets, we see that there are different levels of customers um, and uh, they are requesting different levels of the technology. So that is relatively okay and, and easy. Where it makes, what makes it difficult is that in some countries we see a lot of uh, legislation uh, changes, especially on sprayers. And legislation is very difficult to predict. Connected to legislations, there's also incentives like subsidies, which are making it even more difficult. But to comply to those legislation um, demands, uh, we need to have basically a glass bowl to look what politicians will do. Uh, mm -hmm. And that's very difficult. Uh, so there, uh, we need to anticipate on that. A development cycle with us takes three to five years. So if uh, politicians start thinking about new technologies or a trend, then we need to already start the development, although it's not yet decided if it will be implemented. So this makes it difficult, but to keep up in the market and to follow the market requirements, this is a, this is a challenging part. Dirkan, we see that the French farmers, when it comes to spraying, are quite advanced and, let's say, keen on new technologies, gaining more precision and, let's say, trying to be more cost efficient when they're doing some spraying. Uh, when we look at around the world, some countries are maybe a bit less advanced in terms of spraying technologies. How do you prioritize all those things in research and development? The interesting thing about that it's not everywhere the same demand is that you can start somewhere and that not everybody is pulling at the same with the same uh, speed, so to say. Um, we are very eager to try out things close by home. So France, Germany, the Netherlands, even the UK, that's very uh, uh, easy to travel to and to be close to the customer uh, from our side. Further away, uh, that is of course more difficult. So we, we bring those technologies further away uh, in a later stadium. However, I would not say that the demands are less in, in, in other countries. There are the demands are different, the, the differences are bigger. So there are less farmers that are really on this high level. But if they are on this high level, then they are also going full blast, including uh, camera technology on the, uh, let's say, uh, spot spraying with camera technology, uh, prescription maps, uh, variable rate, and so on and so on. So there is in the countries, uh, there is a big difference between a very simple farmer, a bigger difference between a very simple farmer and a more advanced farmer, where you see in France that everybody is more working towards a higher technology stand. 
for the prioritization prioritization in uh, in R and D, um, of course we are looking at volumes, and we of course need to look at trends. So that is what is always a bit looking into the glass ball. I said before that is three to five years uh, development cycle. So yeah, we need to predict today what will be the standard in five, three to seven years, so to say. Uh, so yeah, that is uh, that's an interesting uh, job, but we have very good people to do that. So okay. that's okay. running very well. You are involved in quite a lot of developments uh, inside the factory. Could you give us maybe a few insights of what are the next projects, the net, the next focus for the sprayers in Kernald? Uh, yes um, and no. Uh, I mean, uh, of course, there are also uh, projects where we're working on uh, that are a little bit too far from the market to talk already about. But what we see at the moment is that there is a lot of um, traction on spot spraying, both on prescri with prescription maps and also with the camera technology. So we are this year uh, introducing also uh, some tests with uh, camera technology, with a supplier of camera technology called DAT, uh, and integrate that in our sprayers. What we see as extremely important if we want to implement a new technology into the field is that it actually is integrated into our systems and that it is reliably working for the customer so that he actually can, it's not basically with a uh, connectors, uh, wires connected to each other, and then, hey, suddenly it works, and then we leave it like that. No, we want to supply a working implement where a customer can rely on. Uh, so for those technologies, we are uh, integrating them, and that is working uh, very uh, well. Um, what our job is, is to promote those technologies better and to let more people be working with them because the, to, because the advantages are there, it just needs to be adapted by the end customers. And that is a topic for the whole industry uh, in, sprayer, in the sprayer side. If we want to reach less chemicals to be used, the technology is there, but we need to adapt it and make it accessible for the end customer. Well, thank you, Dirkian. Thank you for those answers. Thank you for your time. Merci à vous et puis euh, à bientôt des tours d'un salon. When farming means business.